uh, we are now leaving Marrakesh to Ait Ben Hadou, and uh, here in front of us are the gates to the Medina. Uh, this drive is going to take us about three and a half hours, and uh, by the way, we decided to rent a car to have more flexibility in our trip. So as you can see, the roads are well paved and uh, we felt that driving in Morocco was quite safe. All the major car companies have offices here in Morocco and we rented our car at the airport in Marrakesh, which is probably the most convenient location. There is some beautiful geography between uh, Marrakesh and Ait Ben Hadou. Uh, the mountain views in the uh, Tizian Tichka uh, Pass are very impressive. Um, you'll see different tones of colors of uh, browns, greens, grays and, and reds uh, and there's quite a lot of places along the road where you can pull over for photos. A word of caution, the roads are narrow and not lit at night so pay attention when driving in Morocco. Also there are speed traps everywhere so do not speed when you drive here in Morocco. We have finally arrived in uh, Ait Ben Hadou. Um, the question is, uh, where where do we go now? We have to be picked up from the hotel. So while we're waiting, uh, this very nice man uh, has invited us for some tea. Thank you. 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 you. We just had tea with Muhammad, and now we are being picked up by the hotel. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for the tea. Yeah, nice okay. to meet yeah. you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. So we're walking to our hotel. It's the only way to get there. Uh, we didn't know. Um, actually, our Riyadh. We didn't know when we got here that we had to walk. But they picked us up with a little luggage card and uh, now we're walking. Quite an experience, but we are in the center of where we want to be. So when we get to the hotel, we'll show you. It's, uh, it's exciting. Here we are, the uh, Kassar 8 Ben Hadou. And uh, we're going to cross the bridge over now to go to our Riyadh. This is exciting. It's a World Heritage Site, of course. Ait Ben Hadou was added to the uh, UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites in 1987. Um, the village was built 10 centuries ago along uh, the former caravan route between the Sahara and Marrakesh. It's made of a unique architecture using materials such as uh, rammed earth, uh, clay bricks and of course wood. As you will see, it is surrounded by beautiful nature of palmiers, mountains and rivers. This is really incredible. We are in the Kassar entry right now. It's uh, Kassar Ait Ben Hadou. As you can probably tell by now, the only way to access Ait Ben Hadou is by foot. Uh, this mud brick village dates back to the year 757 and its founder, Ben Hadou, still lies buried in his tomb behind this incredible city. Most of the original inhabitants have uh, obviously moved across the river, but there's still a handful of families living here in this village. And we're obviously staying with one of them since they have a Riyadh here. So we will be able to sleep in the village and get to experience a little bit of this uh, Berber life tonight. We finally arrived. Uh, it took us about uh, 15 minutes to, to walk up here. Um, time to go inside.
stay in this place. I'm gonna put all the information below in the comment section of this video. But this Riyadh, I think, is the most beautiful one in this village. It's also one of the only ones that has full electricity at night. And it also has Wi-Fi, so if you, it's not cheap, it's about $100 a night, but it's well worth it because you're right in the center of the village. This is where everything happens. And then of course there's no tourists at night, so you have this whole place to yourself. This is basically where we're gonna be staying tonight. They have singles, they have doubles, and they have quadruplets. So this is if you are a pair, and then of course here, if you have two more people. So four people can stay in this room. So if you're staying in this uh, Riyadh, uh, this is one of the only places that has actually um, electricity and it's obviously asking you to conserve energy. So it's asking you to turn off on the lights when you're not here and uh, conserve the water. And then if you wanna, um, if you wanna charge your equipment, if you wanna charge your phone or your camera, uh, your, your, your whatever, you can just plug it in outside over here. So there is places for you to charge your equipment as well. Just small hint when you stay in here. This is the bathroom and uh, there's a full shower, toilet, and the shower is over there. Very, very cute. You have a little view here, the window opens, and let me show you what you see. Oh yes, we definitely want to climb this hill and uh, look at the village from that point. So let's go. This uh, hill right here is called Turit Edmiro. We made it to the top of the hill and uh, if you visit Ait Ben Hadou, you definitely have to come to this viewpoint to admire the Kassar. I think this is a truly stunning and unique village. Uh, no wonder why it's been the setting for so many movies. By the way, the meaning of the word Kassar is a group of buildings made out of earth-type material, like clay, and it's surrounded by high walls, uh, but it's also a fortress and traditional pre-Saharan habitat. Visiting Ait Ben Hadou should definitely be a must-do uh, if you come to Morocco, especially if you plan to drive to the desert region of Merzouga. Let's look around and see what you will experience inside the village or the Kassar. We are heading all the way to the top of the village. Uh, let's see what we find on our way up. Down there by the uh, partially dried out riverbed is uh, where a portion of uh, Game of Thrones was filmed. We were searching obviously for the big entrance gate that was filmed in uh, Game of Thrones and we're looking for it and looking for it and the only thing that we saw is that one over there and uh, we're obviously like th that doesn't look like the one in the picture so we, start we started asking around and what happened was the, the one that you see in Game of Thrones, sorry to burst everybody's bubble, it was just a mock-up. It was just built for Game of Thrones. It was made out of bamboo and obviously after they shot all the scenes, they took it down again. Whereas that one over there, that one is, is it's not an original one either, but it was built for Lawrence of Arabia, but it was built in stone, so that's why it stayed there. But uh, neither, neither are original. Of course, the village itself is original. Ait Ben Hadou is just so incredible. It's peaceful and mysterious, and even though the village is quite small, there's a lot to do. Just being here, you can feel the long history this village has, um, not to mention uh, famous filming locations for movies and shows like Game of Thrones, uh, Gladiator, uh, Prince of Persia, and of course, many more. Uh, however, one night is uh, definitely enough, and I highly recommend that you stay in, in a Riyadh inside the village. Uh, you'll get lunch, dinner, and breakfast in the Riyadh, so you don't have to worry about uh, finding a place to eat. Uh, again, I listed the Riyadh uh, that we stayed in in the description section below. Good price, good, good price. price. <laughs> I'm gonna am, buy four. I, I, will, I will make Berber <laughs> price, not tourist price. Oh, okay. because yeah. we are like I Berber. Like that. 
My brother, if you want to see his mom, you can drink tea with us. <laughs> when you're inside the village, visit the street vendors uh, of local crafts. Um, some advice though, look around, ask for prices, and then go back to your favorite place and negotiate a fair price. This guy just asked me Alibaba, and I said, uh, yeah, and he says, um, he says, with three women, I said, yes, lucky man. He says, um, okay, I give you 2,000 camels for her. And I said, no. And he goes, no. He goes, how many? I said, she's not sellable. And he goes, yeah, everybody's sellable. I go, no, not sellable, impossible, because everything is impossible. He keeps on offering 2,000 camels. <laughs> well, it's time to leave this magical place and continue our drive to the uh, Tadra River Gorge. Uh, I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised on how beautiful this gorge is. Uh, so I highly recommend that you visit it. Um, if you're into hiking or climbing, it's definitely a dream destination. So make sure you watch part three of our Moroccan trip. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit the like button, and uh, you'll get notified when I post the next video. Thanks for watching. Uncut Travel.